This is the new KTM 1290 Super Adventure. Matt rode it, absolutely loved it, but the most intriguing part of it we thought we'd explore more, and that is this over here, this little square. That is the radar system. It connects to the adaptive cruise controller. What it basically does is it locks onto the motorcycle or the vehicle in front of you. So the motorcycle in front of me, when it slows down, this thing will slow down on its own. When that bike speeds up, this bike speeds up. When that bike hits anchors, this one will hit anchors too. And that led us to an interesting question. Can we lock on to another motorcycle and do a complete lap of a racetrack without touching the throttle or brake? So we're here at Midval Raceway and we're going to find out. I'll be riding the radar bike and we'll be following this man, Dave Griffin from Fast KTM, widely known as the biggest hooligan in motorcycling. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I mean, is this going to work? Uh, is it going to shoot off off the track? Is it going to slam on brakes in the middle of the track and we're going to fall down? I don't know. At least I'm a little bit relieved because I see Dave is wearing normal riding gear. I mean, I'm in full leathers. Dave is in normal riding gear. Um, if anyone's ever seen Dave ride, he's an absolute maniac. Uh, even on an adventure bike. I mean, if you think you're on your superbike and you're safe against Dave on his adventure bike, no, you're not. He will overtake you sideways with his knee down on an adventure bike. That's just how he is. <laughs> But anyway, let's see how this goes. At least he's on an R. This is an S, that's an R. It's more off-roady. This is more on-roady. So this, you can see I'm psyching myself up here. Anyway, cool, we're coming onto the back straight. We're about to start the lap. I'm gonna put my visor down, if you'll forgive me. We're gonna accelerate up to speed. I'm gonna keep it in fourth gear for this. We'll accelerate up to 150 and then, there we go. There we go, I've hit the, the thing here. My hand's off the throttle, off the brake. Whew. Remember, if you hit the brake, it'll... Oh, okay, wait, it's slowing down. We came up to the first corner, we're slowing down. If I hit the brake, it'll disengage everything and this whole thing is ruined, so... First corner. Oh, okay, we made it through. Luckily, it's just a little kink, so it's not so bad. Now we came up to another kink. Oh, 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 oh. Got a little close to Dave there, we're okay. Oh, bugger. I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, through the tight, this is the tightest corners, is through here, the two double lefts, so we made it through, yes! Ah, oh, it's put our brakes in the middle of the corner, don't do that, thank goodness for Corey. Really, it went through there, it, it caught on to Dave and then slammed our brakes in the middle of the corner, thank goodness for cornering ABS. <laughs> okay, we're still going, you see, my hand's still there, we're going down the pit straight, we're half a lap in. Okay into the corner here, yeah, it's a bit of a sweepy corner, that's fine, then after this it's a long left-hander and I just wonder is he not going to kind of go out of range and then what happens, does the bike accelerate, does it brake, does it just do nothing, I, I don't actually know, oh, braking, I don't know when it brakes, I mean it just sort of, it when it reads it, it puts on brakes so you know when you're riding by yourself you have control so you know when you're going to be slamming on brakes, with this I have no idea uh, geez, I, I'm still, I was, I was tempted there, I nearly touched it, but I didn't. Okay, we're coming into the last corner now. Last corner, Donovan, don't stuff this up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, I'm still on him. We're going to go down the back straight now, and will it accelerate? Yeah, it's accelerating. We did it, we're going, we're down the back straight, we did it. We did it! <laughs> there we go, a whole lap, not touching the brake or the accelerator. We did it, we, yes! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant, and I didn't die, I didn't die, yay, yay, I live another day. COVID and radar can't kill me. <laughs> nice one, Don. I think he, I think he did pretty well there, not to interfere with the experiment by grabbing a handful of brake. You can adjust the following distance, and from the looks of it, Don had it set quite far back. The problem, the closer you are, is obviously less reaction time, and I presume a more sudden intervention on the brakes if the closing distances get too much. And the system doesn't seem shy about applying the brakes with some lean angle in play, so 
it doesn't exactly always choose the ideal moment to adjust the bike speed. Still, with a bit of development, it could become a useful track day teaching tool and literally becoming as fast as a MotoGP rider is a matter of gritting your teeth, steering and hanging off the side at the right moments. The bike will accelerate and brake for you as you follow Brad Binder through turn one at Phillip Island at nearly 300 k's an hour. A million dollars to the first person who can do a lap behind a MotoGP rider without bottling it and touching the brakes. And a million dollars worth of medical expenses for those who don't make it. Yeah, okay. Enough of that in-depth analysis. Back in a moment. 